Let's take a look at this beach scene. A lot of people heading uh, to the beach, certainly especially with this nice warm weather, but storms come on the beach and they usually clear the beach, right? Well, let me show you what happens with the lightning bolt. It's pretty cool uh, when the lightning hits the water. Now, it's usually going to hit a higher object on land, but it does hit the water. We've seen this happen a lot. The lightning bolt comes down just below the water a little bit, but it also fans out. And as it fans out, guess what? If you're still in the water, you could be struck by lightning. You could become paralyzed or even knocked unconscious. Let's talk about land again, because this is where the usually you're going to see the strikes, uh, especially in things like this. You get the lifeguard stands. You've got some of these umbrellas out here. There's these metal beach umbrellas. They're more than likely going to get struck. Of course, the process of conduction here uh, or ground current taking a direct strike, that's what you're going to see here. And if you're anywhere near those, forget about it. All right? Golfers, male or female, when you're out on the golf course, you are often the tallest object on the golf course. It's a dangerous place to be because we still got that gator, that doggone gator is still walking around. He's putting on about 10 miles over the last few days. Golf carts uh, are fine if you're moving and you're heading inland. You just want to get off the golf course. That's why they typically clear the golf course. Guys, listen to this. A lightning bolt is only about the size of a nickel. That's the width of a lightning bolt, but it has 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit worth of heat. That's five times hotter than the surface of the sun. And take a look at what the strike did right here on the green, okay? Let's say it hit right where the hole is or the cup is. Uh, you can often get these little patterns that branch out, almost looks like a snowflake, right? This is a Lichtenberg figure, and it's named after the German physicist who actually discovered it. It does, it looks like a snowflake on the ground. But what happens here is you are typically getting sand and soil fused together because of the rapid heating in through here and you it extends outward from the strike. Yes, they have to replace the entire green in through here. But the good news is if you go indoors, they won't have to replace you. When thunder roars, go indoors. And remember, this is good for any outdoor sport, uh, athletes, and fans alike. All right, this storm is causing other problems too. We often see storms accompanied by strong winds and rain like Steph was talking about. Uh, they can down trees on power lines. And we know that sparks spew from these lines. They can cause fires, but they can also shock you as well. These lines conduct electricity through the ground or any object that they're touching, like a fence, a tree, or even a vehicle. Stay at least 40 feet away from the line. If you're in your car, please, and that line is sitting on your car, do not get out of the car. Don't touch anything metal inside that car. Call 911 and wait for help. So don't be a victim. When thunder roars, go indoors. It's a good idea to wait 30 minutes after the storm passes. And if you come across a down tree and power line, assume it is hot.